Welcome back to TIS 100. Um, I finally felt like playing again. So let's go ahead and try to do a couple of these. I usually do five, but I think they're getting harder. So we'll just see if I can actually do five for the, for the episode. Um, so yeah, F1 is our quick reference. So we know kind of what we need to type in because without that, I don't think I'd know what to type in. And uh, we were on, I guess we did this first and second row, so we're on this third row. Uh, this is just a sandbox, so I don't remember if I just, if I finished this and then stopped here or what. But to unlock these down here, I guess I have to, you know, complete more of these, so. What is a signal pattern detector? Well, when I think of that, <clears throat> I guess it's looking for a certain pattern. And then if it's true, yep, it says when it will write a one. If it's not true, then write a zero. Look for the pattern zero, zero, zero. Okay, so the input's gonna have zero, zero, zeros. And then when the last three, I guess, were zeros, then it should be a one. So here they're even telling us what the output should be, so. That seems pretty easy. Um, so I think what we should do is well, first thing. I can do, I guess, is just move everything down. Okay, so move. So it problem is is you got to keep track of the memory in the past. So it's like I can move something down. And then it's almost like I got to propagate the numbers somehow based on a delay, I suppose. Yeah, I think, I think I can, I, I think I can try it this way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move one left and this is gonna move right down and then this is gonna move up to ACC so this is gonna be a storage for a number that it's checking last Right? Okay, so... ACC, 
move ACC left. Mm, this is tricky. The reason why it's tricky is because I have to combine. It's almost like I have to time the propagation of it somehow. Because what I could do is I could just make all the the last three available to this box and then the box basically just processes what it finds. But the thing is I don't want to just lose what I'm seeing into memory. Okay, so three numbers will come in. One will come down here to be read first. Second number will also be sent down here, but it will be seen by this from here. No, it'll actually be moved down and combined. Third number, let's see, this thing should move it down. Oh. Okay, so these, this box, this box, and this box can all provide to this box three sort of different numbers at a time. So whatever this box had, move up ACC. Move ACC down and then move ACC right. Move left ACC. Move ACC up. So the first one that this should be processing, the first two aren't going to have any inputs, but the first one that has its inputs is going to be 200. Zero, zero.
So I need to add Need to add the top, middle, left, and bottom. So add how do I set? Okay. Move. Move zero to ACC. So move zero ACC. Um, okay, now I'll branch. So J E Z. JMP start. Okay, so if there's zeros, then what we do is we push a one to our right. Or, no, that's. They're not, yeah, but they're zeros. Okay, so then move left down, move up down. Whew, this is crazy. Okay, so the first one's a two. We push the two to the left, and we push the two down. Push the two down, push the two to the right. Move up right, go ACC. Okay, our first output is correct. Oh, but now we're outputting a one. That's not right. Okay, let's let's go through this again slowly. Okay, so this says add down. But down is a question. So the problem I'm having is I'm is I'm adding two three times and that doesn't initialize this properly. So I think my problem is that it needs initialized. So this one needs two fake. Right? And then start. Right? And this one needs one fake one. Okay, now it's going to receive some fake zeros. And it's going to receive a 2. Now, here we go. We have 0, a 2, and then whatever the new one is. 
which is not going to add to one. There we go. Let's just try it. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Hold on a sec. Okay, so we need to move ones at the beginning. Because apparently these don't count. Oh yeah, look at that thing run, baby. You see that? That is that is beautiful. Very nice. As Borat would say. Very, very nice. Cool. Alright guys. Um I wanna split up my episodes, so um, let's just do one segment per episode for now, I suppose. That way I can release one episode a day because I sort of want to release an episode on my YouTube channel every day. So, yeah. Segment 40196. Alright, well... That was fun. I'll, uh, I guess I'll see you guys in another episode. 40196.